this is Terry Fan here to review a um, video game based off a 2002 hit movie. That's right. We're going to review Spider Man for the Nintendo GameCube, ready for everyone, made by Activision. First, the back cover was Spider Man taking on the Green Goblin, who is the main villain of the movie. But you'll get to take on other classic Spider Man villains like the Vulture and, and Shocker and others. Then, by Genically, uh, a radioactive spider, ha high school student Peter Parker is suddenly empowered with supernatural abilities including spider stance, web slinging, and wall, wall crawling. Assume the role of Parker as he adapts to his new powers and become Spider-Man, but be aware the city's villains won't be pleased to see a new hero on the scene. The game is basically following the storyline of the movie, but it has another storyline with it. And, and all the actors from the movie reprise their roles for the video game, and Bruce, and Bruce Campbell, who is a, who many call a legend in the small budget and B B film film hor B B B horror movies is a, is also is also the narrator for this video game. He also is the voice that helps you throughout the way, but he does it in his own style. This is pretty entertaining. <laughs> like my favorite one is when he says, "You just take care of this, and I'm gonna go make me a sandwich." And then he has a smacking sound of him after he had a sandwich. Defend the city from the clusters of evil with all new combat moves and dizzy airborne acro acrobatics. Acrobatics move. Acrobatics move through the acrobatics move through stunning scenes from the movie as you explore enormous city environments with new bound abilities. Fight the world's toughest villains, including Shocker, Vulture, and the Green Goblin. I'm not sure you guys want to see the disc. This is very cool with the spider web and the name Spider Man on it. Now, I think this made, made a very. If you guys remember the um, original 2000 video game. Spider-Man. That game, in my opinion, a hit. This one was no exception. They really took their time with this game. It made the game feel like you were actually was Spider-Man in this game. You felt like you were Spider-Man. The game's graphics are really strong, especially on the GameCube version. This game was available on the PS2 and the Xbox. I recommend the GameCube more because the controls were very good. I mean, much better, in my opinion. The graphics were really awesome. They really did well with the designs of New York. Make it, they really made it feel like you were in downtown New York. In New York, basically, it made New York look cool. Spider-Man and Green Goblin looked like they did in the movie. The rest of the characters were pretty well designed as well. The sound is pretty good. The voice acting is very very good with some cool dialogue and the music is really dramatic too it makes you feel like you're inside the motion picture the controls were great in this game they were in my opinion much better than the PS2 version not that the PS2 version was a bad one it's just this one was my opinion a much better one the gameplay overall is really fun and it really it makes you feel like you were actually worse by man so yeah overall I, this is one of the few video games based off a movie that was very good and it's my opinion, opinion worth checking out I give Spider-Man for the GameCube an 8 out of 10 great movie based off of, and a video game at the same for the same token thanks for watching take care